So every time I do one of these videos, I try to make sure that I only give you guys sites that I genuinely believe you would visit either daily or like find just like a really big interest in one of them and like visit it like often. So let's just jump into my list of my favorite free sites for designers to visit in 2024. You also know what's coming next. Also, as per usual, do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. It's the first link in the description down below where you basically all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase, plus all future products for free no matter the price forever. All right, so our first site is genuinely like actually a banger and I wanna like start with it immediately. It's actually a GitLab link with Velvetine's list of free and open source font collections, which if you don't actually know what Velvetine is, I featured it before as just like really dope fonts that really sort of cater to like the you know, more fun display fonts, maybe like apparel designers. But this list of foundries honestly offers some of the best free commercial use fonts in the space currently, while also probably introducing you guys to many of the amazing foundries that share these for free. I found some of my favorite typefaces here and also probably shared a lot of my findings as well. So if you're into dope fonts, go crazy. And if you're too lazy to find cool fonts, well, this is where I would tell you to go to my Twitter and follow because I post them every single week on Wednesday. Self plug. Next font though is known as Texture Labs. It's an oldie but goldie when it comes to a great source of free one-off textures. I'd say many of these just offer a slightly better source texture collection than maybe just typing them into Google. If you're a photo manipulator or even just like starting to become one, a lot of what you might Google, you can probably find here without like the fake texture watermark designs. I mean, yeah, it sucks, I know. But yeah, Texture Labs, if you're into texture, then Texture Labs. Next site though is actually for my branding identity designers and also aspiring art directors. It's called Rebrand Gallery. Rebrand Gallery offers the best design. This sounds like an ad. It's not an ad. I just took it from the site. Rebrand Gallery explores the best design systems, visual identities, and videos to just better grasp an understanding of just really great art. It's easy to fall victim to only sourcing from like a few different places then getting lost on the way because you may not really fully understand how to scale a direction in like multiple different ways. Honestly, all it takes is a few hours every now and again and just click through and then witness how great artists minds just work. It's almost like you're looking at the featured best of tab and Behance, but I just think the person who runs the site just does like it has a like really good taste. Next site though is Design Inspiration. It's pretty much exactly what the name states. However, the cool part is actually being able to explore projects based on color scheme. So what you can do is you can click into the search tab, write out any cool product you wanna see. Maybe it's like sports posters, pretty much very similar to Pinterest, but you can take it a step further by selecting on the palette icon, then start to select colors that you might be working with right now. And once you do that, you research and you just see a bunch of different options designers have done with a similar color palette. Honestly, it's a cheat code for those who have like a good color in mind, but might not really have a deep enough understanding or just like in the design process to know actually how to make it work. Honestly, I probably would have developed like three times as fast if I had a site like this on hand, just because I wasn't like the best at color theory. Hopefully like a lot of you guys, so I'm not alone. But honestly, if you struggle with it, I would say it's worth a visit. Now, speaking of designer inspiration though, sesohq.com slash inspiration. It's not an ad, technically, it's my site. However, it is my personal collection of mood boards that I've sourced every single Monday for 96 weeks straight. Now, when you guys, of course, scroll through it, I tend to lean towards collecting art per board with a certain feeling, effect, or just a thought in mind. Whether if it's typography, the way typography is laid out, how many people are in the photo, text effects, graphic effects, anything of that sort. You can just kind of scroll, scroll, and scroll, and hopefully endlessly find sources of great art. So it's one of those things, if you think I'm a good artist, this is basically what I think is just really good art, all in one page. However, though, the last site for today is known as Resource Boy. It's another site that's been around for a bit, however, with these Twitter guys and these like free 4K texture posts. I see you. Stop it. Unless you made it. This site is where a lot of those source resources are coming from. And I just wanted to show you guys where all of them were. I'd say that the site does offer at least a few things people could use on like a daily basis, but realistically, probably like 90% of the stuff on the site may just be more of a niche and just like fun manipulation assets that can be used like every now and again. But for the quality, it's honestly so dope and like an unmatched site. Well worth the visit and just start downloading some cool assets that you might just find cool. However, though, with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So my hope, right, is that you found a site at least one or two or three that you visit like every now and again, and then you just think in your back of your head like, oh, Seso, you know, show me that site. And if you do, you can leave a like. And if you really like it, you can subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, then that's all I got. Later. <laughs>